everybody. I hope you're having a protein-powered and fat-fueled day. I wanted to make this video because I was seeing a lot of truffle recipes on social media. And for folks who are not doing dairy or not doing cheese, I wanted to see if we could make an alternative. So, poffles. What is a poffle, you might ask? A poffle is actually pork panko or pork rind dust, egg, and some butter. This is my variation that I'm going to go ahead and um, let you guys check out the recipe and then we'll go ahead and we'll do some additional variations. Alternative to chaffles. I start by separating two egg yolks. I then take them and add a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of pork panko. Mix everything up real nice. I coat my little mini waffle maker with some bacon grease, coat everything nice and even. And within less than a few minutes, voila, you have a poffle. Simple and delicious and dairy-free all carnivore recipe in the caption below. Enjoy. Okay, so here is a quick tip that I learned pretty much right away when I started making poffles. You're gonna wanna keep a paper towel nearby because if you make more than one, then chances are the butter um, and a little bit of the grease is gonna drip out over the sides and onto your countertop. So I even sometimes will, you know, keep an eye on it and just put a paper towel underneath it. So that's something that you might wanna do. So let's go ahead and look at some variations of poffle making. Okay, so my plan is, is to go ahead and make two variations of this. I'm going to use chorizo in one and bacon in the other. And actually, you're only limited by your imagination. You know, for example, if you wanted to do two poffles and use the bacon as the meat inside, you could literally make a bacon sandwich. You could also do the same thing with the chorizo sausage. And, or what you could do is you could incorporate the meat in the chaffle mix, which I will do both today so you can see what that looks like. But um, let me go ahead and get this chorizo started and we'll go ahead and talk carnivore. Okay, so I am using the chorizo pork sausage that we got from Whole Foods. Um, if you didn't check that out, please go to my Instagram at Cherishing Your Health. Check out the reel where um, we did a Whole Foods grocery haul. It was my first day at Whole Foods. Um, I was actually quite surprised. We found some things that I just can't find at my local grocery store. Things are going to get loud in a minute because I am cooking the chorizo and getting that ready for us to give it a try with the poffle. Um, but let's talk, uh, while this is cooking, let's go ahead and talk about why one would go dairy free or avoid eating cheese on carnivore. So I got asked why no cheese? Well, every now and again, I like to do no cheese because one, I find cheese pretty addictive for me. Um, I can wind up eating a whole bunch of it and then skipping my actual meat or meal. So to kind of reel myself in, I every now and again will stop eating cheese for like a month, sometimes two, just to kind of give my body um, a rest from it. There are also folks out there who are lactose intolerant and can't have any dairy whatsoever as well as people who are um, suffering from Hashimoto's or have Hashimoto's and dairy is just not a good idea for them. So I, you know, thought, well, I'm not doing dairy this month and everybody's making these chocolate videos and I would like to give these a try. And I actually did try them before when I was on keto and it didn't turn out so good. I used, I guess I used the wrong cheese. It just, it didn't look good, didn't taste good. But um, 
I do love using pork panko or pork rind crumbs to break things with. And so I thought, well, this would be perfect. I have heard of folks using the pork rind um, panko to, uh, to make things with, to make uh, a batter. So I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do just egg yolks because again, I've tried it with egg and it just tasted too eggy. I wanted something that my husband and possibly my children would eat without it actually tasting like egg. So I thought, well, let's let's give this a try. Let's do just the yolks, the pork panko, and some butter because I know from other recipes that I have done that butter and pork panko makes a huge difference. If you try to do it without butter, um, the pork panko can be quite dry, um, just like a pork rind. And so it just makes it more flavorful. It melts in your mouth. It, it's just super delicious. Butter is everything. Butter is life. Let it out, okay? <laughs> so that's, that's basically why I chose to, um, to go dairy free and um, how I kind of came up with my own version of the popple. I'm sure there are other versions out there. Um, and I'm sure there's versions that are quite similar to mine and that's okay because we all learn from each other and that's what carnival is all about is experimenting and finding out what works for you and finding what you like. You know, there's no one right way to do carnivore. Carnivore is your way. Um, you know, as long as you are eating meats and animal products from the animal kingdom without eating any vegetables or anything that is not from those two parties, you're carnivore. So if you carnivore your way, what you enjoy, feel free to comment below in this video um, some of the recipes that you've tried. I know that I have done um, a fake, like a keto cornbread without the almond flour and just using uh, carnivore products. That came out really dense, but it does work. So um, I could probably do something like that. If you're interested in seeing a uh, cornbread-like recipe <laughs> without the actual cornbread, um, Please comment or send me a DM on Instagram. Appreciate that. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all browned up and then we'll go ahead and make uh, chorizo poppers. Let me give you guys a quick view of what the chorizo looks like. It's, it's starting to brown and it's looking pretty good. As you can see, uh, there are a lot of spices in this, so if you're the type of person that doesn't like a lot of spice or you just do salt only or no salt or just plain yeast, um, then chorizo would be basically pork sausage. That's what you want to do there. Um, and then make it your own. But um, my family loves the spiciness of the chorizo, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a little experimentation here with adding this chorizo to um, the pocket. Looking pretty good, check it out. I mean, this is browning so nice. And as Anne Burrell would say, brown food tastes good. Okay, since the poffles are so um, tiny, I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of meat. I'm just gonna start with um, like half a, not even half a tablespoon here, and I'm going to incorporate it into my poffle mix. Okay, so I've added my chorizo. Um, the butter has been melted for this one. I thought it would help combine all the ingredients together, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up, and we'll get it on the waffle iron. There you go. Just spreading out the um, ingredients for the popple because the egg yolk is a lot thicker 
than using a whole egg. So I just want to try and get it spread out a little bit. You can see the chorizo in there. Try and get like a little bit of the meat spread out a little bit. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay, you see how it's kind of bubbling up over the side? That's the butter and um, possibly the juices from the meat. So that's why I felt like I started to have to put um, paper towels underneath the little pot, the little waffle maker so that I could keep, you know, make cleanup a lot easier just to help full tip. Just like that, we're already done. Let's check this out. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, that looks amazing. You can see the chorizo in there. Looking good. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, this is, came off nice and easy. Here's the back side. Look at that. Nice and buttery. Okay, let's give it a try. So here is the final product. This is chorizo poffle. <laughs> Looks good. Mmm. Mmm. That is pretty good. I'm usually not a huge fan of chorizo, but when I smelled the fragrance of the spices from Whole Foods chorizo, I knew I had to try it. Um, my husband gets this other brand, I can't remember the name of it, and yes, it's decent, it's got clean ingredients, but I just, it's too, too much spice, I think. I don't, I don't know, or the combination, I'm not sure. But um, this is actually quite flavorful. So I definitely recommend it. I will um, insert a picture of the brand so that uh, you guys can check it out for yourself. It's the 365 brand um, and it's actually from Whole Foods. So I'll go ahead and, and insert a picture. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna incorporate bacon into the actual mix. So we have to make our own bacon bits. So I have pre-prepared bacon. Um, confession, I did eat a couple slices. It's really hard not to eat bacon while making it. <laughs> Just saying smells so good. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make up some little bacon bits to incorporate into the mix. Um, while I'm doing that, let's talk about bacon. Um, I get asked a lot about if bacon is okay on carnivore because of the ingredients. And I agree, it's really difficult to find a clean bacon out there can find um, that do not have any sugar in them. It's typically the low sodium uh, versions of bacon have no sugar. Kirkland's low sodium has no sugar. Um, uh, Albertsons or Juul, depending on where you live, also has a low sodium version that has no sugar. But um, ButcherBox is absolutely the best, the cleanest that I have found, um, aside from any no sugar that you'll get from your butcher. And then finally, uh, Applegate. Applegate has an uncured uh, bacon that has absolutely no sugar in it whatsoever. So um, those are just a couple of the options that you can do for bacon, if you'd like. Or you can always go pork belly and I will be doing a pork belly video coming up soon. Okay so this is a whole slice of bacon chopped up. I think I'm going to just go ahead and use half of this for right now. So you can see I have all the ingredients here including the um, butter that's melted in so again so that we can incorporate it quickly and I'm just going to mix up all the ingredients and put it on the griddle. See you in a few minutes.
Oh, wow, that looks amazing. You can actually see the little bits of bacon in there. Looks so good. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm, pretty much anything with bacon is going to taste delicious, right? You know, it's got nice little bits of bacon throughout. Uh, just gives it a good flavor. Mmm. It's a nice way to switch it up. Okay, something else that you can do with a poffle is you can actually make a sandwich out of it. Go ahead and either make two poffles, or I've cut one in half here. And I'm just going to take a couple little bacon strips and make it into a nice little um, bacon sandwich. So maybe you haven't had time to finish your meal and you want to grab it and go. It's a nice little way to get that sandwich feel without actually using bread. Here's another thing you might want to try with a poffle. So here I've again cut one in half and I'm using the chorizo to make myself a poffle taco. So if you miss your Taco Tuesdays, this makes a great alternative to that. Just go ahead, ground up your beef or your chorizo and ole, you're ready to go. So there are two um, alternatives to just doing a regular poffle and you can actually incorporate any carnivore meat that you want and give it a try experiment. If you do make your own version of a poffle, please feel free to tag me on Instagram so that I can share it to my stories. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you'll get an update every time I have a different idea and want to post it here on YouTube. Thank you so much and have a protein-powered and fat-fueled day.